Here we are. Ask the coaches. We're back to two. Whit and Chris. Question is. The question is, typically for our females, I get I get the question along our Metcons, should I go heavier, move slower, or should I go lighter and move faster? A lot of this has to do with what your goals are in, in the CrossFit setting. But especially as we get older with females, especially as we, we get closer to perimenopause and menopause, you're going to get more bang for your buck the heavier weights you lift. So my suggestion would always be to go a little bit heavier, even if we have to manipulate the reps for you to help you reach that cap or to make sure that you're lifting safely, I would always recommend going a little bit heavier. Now, that being said, there are several different books that can help you develop even more knowledge on this topic. Dr. Stacy Sims, one of the leading doctors in our field on this, has two books, one out called Roar, and then the next one out called Next Level. And that'll do a good job of explaining some of those changes that happen in the female body as we enter menopause, uh, perimenopause and menopause, and the different hormonal changes that are going on and how to combat that as we get older. Yeah, I, I, I'm totally in agreement. And, and people worry like, oh, I'm gonna get you know, big, <laughs> Mus overly muscular. Uh, there's less of a concern with that nowadays, I think. But, but the thing is, there is a genetic component to be able to, but the, when you're strong, you know you're strong. And you know, you take someone even like myself, I try to lift heavy, I don't gain a bunch of weight. It, it, and my, my nutrition clients prove that out. But the, the, two, the thing about everybody should be lifting heavy relative to their own strengths. I mean, you write the caps in, in workouts for a purpose and we wanna to try to like, you know, be cognizant of that while it's relative and make those modifications. Um, to me, from, from the nutrition side is that where people hit or miss is, are you eating enough protein, right? Like for a general female and, and is, are you getting 75, 85, 95, approaching 100 grams protein at a minimum uh, on a day-to-day -day basis to help with all these sorts of things and the, and the hormone uh, regulation, everything that goes along with it. Yeah, so bottom line, move well, eat protein, lift some heavy stuff. Yeah, don't be scared. Keep the questions coming.